part two, using the probes. If you're confused, I would highly recommend going back to the beginning of this mini series about in situ hybridization. At the end of the last video, I explain how I ended up with a probe sequence that's radioactively labeled that is an exact complementary match to the DNA of the gene that I am looking for. Now, before I put the probe on the brains, I need to prepare the brains a little bit. So if you've been paying attention, you'll remember that the brains were taken, they were frozen, they were sliced, they were frozen again. So there, there's nothing has been done to them at all. So what I need to do is I need to fix them and I need to get rid of the excess water molecules. To fix the brain, I use something called paraformaldehyde. This creates crosslinks between all the proteins and all the cellular substructures within each cell that basically locks everything in place. This prevents the tissue from being degraded in the process of the experiment and also keeps everything as lifelike as possible. This is a really standard procedure. Next, the water molecules are replaced by alcohols. This prevents distortion, so also kind of fixing the cells, and also makes it easier for the probes to then enter the cells. Finally, I'm ready to put the probes on the brain slices. I calculate how much probe needs to go onto each slice because I want the concentration to be the same across the board so I can then compare them. I add the probe to a mixture, which is generally a buffer that helps the probe bind better and more efficiently. After that, I incubate the cells overnight at 37 degrees because most processes like being at 37 degrees because that's also our body temperature. Very convenient. This allows labeled probes to find and attach to the sequences that they were made to attach to. The next morning I come in and I start washing all these slides in a buffer to get rid of the excess. That gets rid of any unbound probes that haven't found their match because if they haven't found their match then I can't use it. 